Yo, what's up guys, it's Casey here. Welcome back to another video. And today, as you can see, it's a little different of a video. And I'm going to be showing you how I made this game on Roblox Mobile. And yeah, I know it doesn't look like much because I'm just using this as an example. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. All right, now I'm on my phone. We're gonna open up Roblox and we're gonna make sure you have a game added to your profile, which Roblox does by default. So we're gonna to go to our profile and go to creations and make sure you see at least one game under your creations tab. The only reason why you wouldn't is because you removed it yourself. So most of you watching can skip this next step. Um, but if you do not have a game added to your profile, um, then you're gonna to have to do this step real quick. All right, so go to home and then go to more and then click on create. Now click on the three um, lines up in the left corner, go to experiences, and then you'll have some type of experience in here. So you wanna click on it and you want to go to settings and then click on public. Make sure your game is public. Now to add it to your profile, you're gonna want to open a web browser like Google or Safari log into the roblox website and now you want to click on create top on the top right and then go and find your game you just made public now click on it then hold down on view on roblox so you can open it in a new tab otherwise it'll like force you on the roblox app now hit the three dots and hit um add to profile so now when we go back on the roblox app and we click on profile and then view full profile you should see your creations tab with your experience you just added to your page all right so most of you probably just skip to here uh, once you have a game added to your profile you want to go to more in the bottom right corner then go to create hit the three tabs at the top left go to open cloud then API keys, click uh, create API key. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Same with the description. I just put mobile game and then A for the description. Now go to access permissions, go to the bottom and hit universe places. Now click add API system and then go to select experience and click on the experience you want to publish your game to. And don't do what I did and have two games with the same name. Luckily, I figured it out and kind of got lucky. Now you want to hit add experience and uh, hit select operations to add and then hit on the right and it should come up with that thing. Now scroll down and you're going to hit security and now you're going to click on enter an IP address and hit 0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0 0 .0 and then slash zero. So that's four zeros before the slash. Now we can hit save and generate key and it should come up with all this and then hit copy to clipboard. And once you have this copy to your clipboard, make sure you don't copy anything else. So you can exit out of that. We're gonna hop into a game called Studio Light. And it's really cool because you can make your own Roblox game, like official Roblox game um, through this game that these developers have made. So this version of Studio isn't as advanced as the PC one, um, but you know, you got um, your scripting and you got the toolbox. Uh, they got some, uh, you know, free models you can use. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm just making this game to showcase it to you guys. I don't, you know, make anything too spectacular. Just playing some random free models and I change up the base plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video. And if you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it a lot. I'm just adding a couple more random things. Um, one, a really good thing you could probably make on here is a obby um i feel like that'd be pretty easy to make on mobile all right so now 
once you got what you want go to file and then save and then save as and then type in you know a random name and hit uh, publish hit save and then you're going to want to select your Roblox game that is shown on your profile. Um, like I said, I have two games called Untitled Games, so um, don't do that. Now we're gonna click on API key in that box, and uh, I was having some difficulties like typing this in because I need to paste it. Uh, so what I eventually did, I think on Android you can maybe like move your keyboard, but what I did on iPhone was I just turned my phone vertically and if you don't know, once you can see your keyboard, you want to like long press where the typing thing is and then hit paste and paste that code in we copied earlier. So now I turn my phone back horizontally and I hit publish. It takes a minute to go through everything, but as long as you did everything right, it should work. And I'll show you here in a minute how to get back to editing your game if you, you know, exit out of the Roblox app. All right, now it'll come up with this screen and, uh, you know, you can play other people's games. Um, but now if we leave and go back to my profile, we should be able to see my game there. If we go to creations and there you can see untitled game, I'm going to hit play give it a minute since it's a new game it'll probably take a little load and as you can see here it is this is a really really cool feature and um as you can see this random guy joined me like right away and it's not like i'm some big youtuber or anything it's not like that i think he found me through like the game i was just in to make this game so it might like kind of promote your game or something so that's cool now i'm going to show you how you can go back to editing your game if you want to make some changes all right so you want to go to more and then create and then you want to hit the three lines up there and then go to open cloud again api keys and you're going to want to like scroll but scroll horizontally along the section, then go to edit. And now you're gonna wanna hit regenerate and regenerate a new key. And then you're going to copy to clipboard. And now you wanna go uh, back to uh, Studio Light. Before I recorded this, I was already testing some stuff out. So you'll see that I already made changes to my game. So go to file then go to open and open your game. And uh, as you can see, I changed the base plate. Now go to file, go to save again, click on your game. And then uh, you're gonna make sure your game selected. Hit API key and delete your old API key. And then you're gonna wanna paste in your new one. It's the same process as before, just with a different API key. Now hit publish and um yeah your new changes will be saved to your game so once again we can just exit out and we can hop back in to the game i made and you will see that the ground will now be the desert base plate that i made it I think you could also make a pretty cool sword fighting game with this mobile version of Roblox Studio. Um, that'd be pretty easy, I feel like. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.